Let's face it. ASEAN is going to be the next economic superpower. Whether you like it or not, the rise of Southeast Asian countries is inevitable. Here's something you should know. The combined gross domestic product, or GDP, of ASEAN has already surpassed that of India. India's GDP last year was $3.38 trillion, while ASEAN's combined GDP was $3.66 trillion. And for comparison, the entire Europe's GDP for 2022 is just about half that of ASEAN, at $16.6 trillion. According to forecasts, the GDP of ASEAN is projected to surpass that of Japan by the year 2028. So how did the ASEAN countries transform from impoverished nations into some of the world's fastest-growing economies? Before we delve further into this topic, please take a moment to show your support for ASEAN by hitting the like button and, most importantly, subscribe to our channel to receive more intriguing videos about the happenings in Asia. Now, let's explore why ASEAN is poised to become the next economic superpower and examine the key factors behind this phenomenon. ASEAN's Favorable Demographics If ASEAN were considered a single nation, it would boast a population of 666 million, positioning it as the world's third most populous country, trailing only behind India and China, and doubling the population of the United States. Beyond its substantial population, ASEAN also benefits from favorable demographics. The emerging profile of ASEAN is characterized by youth, education, and entrepreneurship. According to the International Monetary Fund, over half of ASEAN's population is under the age of 30. Moreover, technology plays a pivotal role in daily life, education, and careers within the region. According to the World Economic Forum, 31% of ASEAN professionals are either involved in entrepreneurship or work for startups. The burgeoning middle class is a significant catalyst for ASEAN's economic ascension. By 2030, it is anticipated that 65% of the region's sizable population will belong to the middle class, with 60% of them being under the age of 35. Notably, a rising star in the region, Vietnam, achieved the remarkable feat of doubling its GDP per capita in current prices from $1,629 to $3,419 in just a decade, spanning from 2010 to 2019. The emerging economies of Indonesia, the Philippines, and Vietnam collectively constitute more than 70% of ASEAN's population and over half of the region's total GDP. Moreover, ASEAN is in a favorable position for widespread internet adoption. The number of internet users is expected to surge from 260 million in 2015 to a projected 575 million by 2030. This means that by 2030, approximately 80% of the ASEAN population will have internet connectivity. In comparison, India's internet users' penetration was at 43% in 2020, and expected to grow to 62% by 2030. In the e-commerce sector, ASEAN's digital economy has experienced remarkable growth, expanding to a value of 100 billion US dollars, tripling in size over the past four years. From a base of 49 million active users in 2015, the region now boasts 150 million active users who engage in online transactions for goods and services. With the region's increasing internet access and consumer purchasing power, forecasts indicate that ASEAN's internet economy will reach 300 billion US dollars by 2025. Therefore, in terms of population, demographics, and consumer markets, the 10 Southeast Asian countries are set to become growth drivers globally. ASEAN's primary trading partner. A significant driver behind ASEAN's economic ascent is its relationship with China. China has maintained its position as ASEAN's most prominent trading partner since 2009. The trade volume between ASEAN and China has more than doubled since 2010, surging from $235.5 billion to $507.9 billion in 2019. Notably, in 2022, the year the Regional Comprehensive Economic Partnership, or RCP, took effect, trade between China and ASEAN saw an impressive 15% increase, totaling $970 billion. Conversely, ASEAN also holds the distinction of being China's leading trading partner. Even in the face of the pandemic, the trade volume between ASEAN and China during the first half of 2020 registered a 2.2% increase amid the global downturn. 
This shift marked a significant milestone as ASEAN ascended to become China's largest trading partner for the first time, resulting in a reciprocal arrangement where ASEAN and China became each other's primary trading partners. Since then, ASEAN has maintained its position as China's foremost trade partner, surpassing both the European Union and the United States. China and ASEAN's economic growth are mutually reliant due to China's significant role as a major trading partner and a vital source of investments for ASEAN. The Rising Stars Among ASEAN The Indonesian economy has emerged as one of the most dynamic in Asia. A substantial 75% of Indonesia's population falls within the middle-class bracket. The country's projected total consumption expenditure of $1.3 trillion is expected to account for one-third of ASEAN's total consumption by 2030, establishing it as the region's premier consumer market. Projections indicate that the number of Indonesian internet users will soar to 262 million, with internet penetration reaching 92% in urban areas and 82% among rural populations. Unsurprisingly, this high level of digital adoption has driven a concurrent surge in e-commerce. In a 2021 survey conducted by Deloitte, over 70% of the 1,500 households surveyed in Indonesia reported making online purchases at least once a month. Furthermore, 43% of respondents identified Shopee and Lazada as their preferred e-commerce platforms. Additionally, Indonesia's vast population of 250 million and its rapidly expanding urban middle class have positioned the country as one of the swiftest growing consumer markets in emerging Asia. According to the Lowy Institute, Indonesia's GDP is forecasted to reach $5.9 trillion, solidifying its place as the fifth largest economy in the world, trailing only China, the United States, India, and Japan. Apart from Indonesia, Vietnam also stands out as the Southeast Asian nation that has witnessed the most rapid economic growth in the past decade. The remarkable increase in income levels within Vietnam is noteworthy. The average disposable income per capita is projected to rise from $2,000 to $4,000 by 2030, which has doubled the growth rate of the United States. In recent times, the Vietnamese population has shifted their consumer focus from merely considering price to valuing quality and brand attributes, aligning with the overarching trend of trading up. A study revealed that 90% of Vietnamese consumers actively read food labels and are willing to pay extra for healthier food options. Additionally, a similar percentage of Vietnamese consumers are open to investing more in sustainable products. This aligns with the broader commitment to sustainability within ASEAN, especially in its emerging economies. Then there's Singapore, which stands as the wealthiest nation in Southeast Asia. Despite having a relatively small population of 5.9 million, the city-state excels on the global stage and commands significant influence. Singapore's consumption trends diverge from those of its regional neighbors, driven by its high urbanization rates and well-educated population. As the most advanced economy in ASEAN, Singapore's populace is predominantly urban and well-connected online. Positioned as a premier tech hub, the country hosts industry giants such as Google, IBM, Microsoft, and Zoom. Since 2016, internet companies have successfully secured over $23 billion in funding, and Singapore's momentum in this sector shows no signs of slowing. Leveraging its human capital as its most valuable resource, the nation continues to pivot its focus towards high-value service industries, including the growing field of fintech. Recent studies highlight Singapore as an anomaly compared to other ASEAN nations, with over 59% of its consumers falling into the high-spender category. Other ASEAN countries like Malaysia, Thailand, and the Philippines are also growing strong and steadily. ASEAN in the context of U.S. and China relations ASEAN stands as an inherently appealing destination for businesses and investments, regardless of their origin. Nevertheless, escalating tensions between the U.S. and China have prompted a noticeable shift of business operations from China to Southeast Asia. For example, Vietnam has emerged as a prominent beneficiary of the geopolitical uncertainties stemming from the friction between Beijing and Washington, as a growing number of businesses opt to relocate their investments to this region. However, it's important to recognize that the friction between the U.S. and China has also had adverse effects on Southeast Asian nations. An illustrative instance is the U.S. government's sanctions against Huawei, a Chinese tech giant that was once the world's second-largest smartphone manufacturer. 
ASEAN countries have been faced with decisions regarding the integration of Huawei's 5G technology into their regions. The U.S. has exerted pressure on other governments to exclude Huawei from their telecom infrastructure, but many ASEAN countries have opted not to take sides and, instead, strive to engage with both China and the U.S. ASEAN finds itself in a position of heightened exposure to the intensifying geopolitical rivalry, a development that raises concerns about disruptions in the global supply chain's efficiency. China represents ASEAN's most significant bilateral partner in goods trade, with its total trade value surpassing ASEAN's trade with the U.S. by 54 percent. However, the U.S. serves as a more substantial source of foreign direct investment, contributing $35 billion to ASEAN in 2020, constituting about 26 percent of total FDI inflows. In contrast, China and Hong Kong provided $11.6 billion, equivalent to 8.5 percent of total inflows. As a collective entity, ASEAN aims to maintain positive relations with both the U.S. and China, recognizing the importance of balancing these key global players in its economic and geopolitical landscape. As an economic powerhouse, ASEAN has emerged as the third pillar of growth in emerging Asia, following the trajectories of China and India. However, will ASEAN continue to thrive and experience steady economic growth? And how will the Southeast Asian countries play their roles in the rising tension between China and the U.S.? If you find this content engaging and informative, please show your support by hitting the like button. Moreover, don't forget to subscribe to our channel for a steady stream of captivating videos delving into the unfolding narrative of Asia's ascent.